Welcome again, everyone, to Open Ed Live. Open education holds great significance, especially in today's academic landscape. Collaboration and knowledge sharing within the community has propelled the movement itself. It's created access to education for so many learners, especially in these times. So it holds potential, open education holds potential for, for quality, for customization, and so much more. So welcome. Here's some tips to optimize your engagement at Open Ed Live. Now is the time to just scan through the schedule, prepare some questions in advance uh, so that you can better engage with the sessions and presenters. Note the key ideas and takeaways so that you can apply them later. Now, after the three days um, are completed, go ahead and fill out this, this survey, the post open ed live survey, because we value your suggestions and feedback. You'll also want to visit the open ed live webpage, the UCF stars repository to view the presentations and listen to the recordings. Okay, this should be fun. Go ahead in the chat now, write what your name is, your role, and your organization or your higher education institution's mascot. Let's see where you're, where you're coming from and what you do. Kentucky, the Wildcat, all right, Blue Devils. Nitro, yay, Amy. Broward, Seahawks, uh-huh, fantastic. Well, welcome everyone, so glad that you could join us. Many instructional designers, I see. All right. Well, welcome. And feel free to go ahead, if you haven't already, write your name role and organization's mascot, but, but just pick a superhero. If you could have, rather it's not a superhero, but if you could have a superpower, which one would you pick? Or you could put your favorite superhero, maybe perhaps because of their superpowers. Oh, I like that one, invisibility, teleportation. <laughs> X-ray vision. A lot of favorites for teleportation. Ah, encyclopedic knowledge, mind reading, yeah, speed reading, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your superpower or your, your hopeful superpower. Let's take a look at the schedule at a glance. We are operating on Eastern Standard Time, so please do note that these times are in that time zone. I'm looking forward to our keynote session covering the implications of generative AI for open education. The OER basics drop-in session, that'll be fun to attend. It's, these drop-in se sessions are conversational style um, sessions. You can come with your questions. It's a safe place to just have, have a good conversation about what you wanna know. These will occur every day at 1 p.m. Now, during our last session today, you'll hear how two faculty members combine their open educational resource efforts with their personalized adaptive learning efforts. And this was for their, their high enrollment gen ed courses. That should be interesting. On Wednesday, you won't wanna, wanna miss that session about the Department of Ed's proposed regulatory changes as well as the, the UCF successful opt-in inclusive access program. There's the open, the open pedagogy session at 1 p.m. 
as well as the student panel at four. On Thursday, a faculty team from the Department of Anthropology will share their experience with adaption, adoption, creation. We have sessions about open ed's role for accessibility, as well as the library's role. For a condensed summary of all this, you'll want to stay for the closing session. Open Ed Live serves as a prelude to the, the annual global celebration, Open Ed Week, March 4th to the 8th. Our neighbors event is coming up too. It's the Florida Virtual Campuses OER Boot Camp from March 27th to the 29th. If you know of any Open Ed Live Week events coming up that you'd like to share with the community, feel free to add those to the chat because I know there are plenty. Welcome everyone again to the Open Ed Live event. Some of you are joining us from Canada, many from across the United States. As you can see, those orange dots represent those who are joining us from all, all across the United States. Maybe you're joining us from as far east as Alaska, as far south as Paraguay, South America, or Victoria, Australia. Some of you from Dublin and London. Welcome everyone. This is truly a global event. You are in the right place if you believe in access to education, agency over content, representation of students and their localities. Open education is essential to an enriched academic experience as a mechanism to honor the expertise of our faculty to foster success of our students. This live event is an opportunity to connect, to learn, to collaborate. So before we introduce the keynote, I'd, I'd like to take, just pause for a moment. If you could write in the chat why you're here, that would be great for us to know. So why did you come here to Open Ed Live? Thank you for joining us. Oh, Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, welcome. Knowledge, community, curiosity. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jonathan is a star, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Continuing education, knowledge. Yes, there is so much to learn about OER. Learn from peers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some practical reasons why you're joining us today here. To work on a textbook, to encourage adoption. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to all three days and all the sessions. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Okay. Well, welcome to Open Ed Live. So glad you could join us. Let me give it a few more minutes for others to join us before we start. 